Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. One of the most awaited news of this year probably is ChatGPT API. And today, ChatGPT API and Whisper API are both available on OpenAI development platform. Yes, if you are a developer and you wanted to use ChatGPT or you wanted to use Whisper API as an API within your application, starting today, you can do that. And the surprising thing is the cost and that we are going to discuss in this video. The way they have priced this is quite amazing. I'm not sure how OpenAI is going to make money out of this, but for now, let's enjoy while it is amazing. So in this video, I'm going to show you what is the announcement that OpenAI has made in terms of ChatGPT API and Whisper API. Then we are going to look at how to access ChatGPT API and also how to access Whisper API. And then finally, we are going to discuss the pricing aspect of how ChatGPT API and Whisper API are placed. And at the end, there are certain developer friendly changes that OpenAI has made with respect to their APIs. We are going to discuss that and wrap the video. So let's get started. The first thing is, as you can see, introducing ChatGPT and Whisper APIs. Developers can now integrate ChatGPT and Whisper models into their applications and products through our API. How do you access the API? Go to platform.openai.com platform.openai.com you can access it but i'll show you later if you see that openai is claiming that they have managed to reduce the cost of chat gpt by 90 percent since december so they're going to use that savings and fuel as api so they're going to give that savings to the api users we don't know if this 90 percent is coming from people who are paying for chat gpt or we don't know if uh, it is just simply like openai has done optimizations to reduce it but yeah, they've said optimization, but that's that's what they're saying. So now also on the Whisper aspect, the large V2 model, which is the latest large model, the that has got a lot of improvements. I've had a different video about that large V2 model already. So that model, Whisper model, which is a speech to text model. So speech to text model and chat GPT's chatbot model are both available as API within OpenAI developer platform. Now they have given some of examples like how people are using it. So what kind of things people have been doing with ChatGPT APIs and Whisper API. One is an example with Snapchat. Another is an example. I mean, like in fact, like with the Snapchat news, everybody was shocked thinking that Snapchat actually launched its own chatbot. But today you get to know that it's not Snapchat. It's not Snapchat's or Snap's own chatbot, but indeed they are leveraging ChatGPT API. And also you can see this Instacart demo. So where Instacart is using ChatGPT API to you to show the products that are relevant to Instacart. Like if Instacart has got certain products, so you can ask question using ChatGPT and they, they are actually using ChatGPT API and you can ask question and it's going to give you responses using ChatGPT API, but within their products. So I don't know how they are doing it, but uh, other than fine tuning a model, but this is what it is. That's amazing. Now you have got a bunch of other more examples for you to see different languages and all these examples. Now, how do you access ChatGPT API? A lot of people know that GPT-3 was a model, GPT-3.5 was a model, but other than developer community, people wouldn't know the model name in itself. So if you know GPT-3, you would have known that it is text Darwin's O2. And if you had known chat uh, GPT 3.5, you would know that it's text Darwin's O03. In the same way, now the chat GPT model is called GPT 3.5 Turbo. So what is this? This is the same model that is used in the chat GPT product. So if you go to chat.openai.com, the model that is used in chat.openai.com is the same as GPT 3.5 Turbo. That's the model. Now, how is it priced? It is quite surprising because the price is 0.002 per thousand tokens. So for every thousand token, you're going to pay 0 0.002, which, which means like what you need at least 500. Yeah, 500 or 5,000. So somewhere around like my math is not really good, but uh, you can see for you to even pay $1, there are a lot of tokens that you can exchange. Now, if you are not familiar with the token world, token is approximately like one word, 
so if you have 1000 words you can say 750 tokens approximately so this is this is like an approximate calculation and this is quite amazing this is quite aggressively priced let me give you a context so if you go to the chat gpt or open ai pricing page you can see that the gpt 3.5 turbo model the chat gpt model which like literally everybody has been behind chat gpt api is 0 0.002 per thousand token now you might assume that you know what uh, the gpt3 should be cheaper than this because chat gpt is so famous no it's not in fact you would see that the davinci model which is one of their most powerful models the davinci family model is 0 0.002 which is 10 times more expensive than chat gpt or in other words i can say chat gpt's api cost is 10 times cheaper than davinci now i'm not quite sure what context people are going to prefer davinci but as you can see like it's uh, it is amazing it is like the way it has been priced is quite unbelievable why it is a massive deal you need to know it is a massive deal because people have been building gpt3 based applications uh, even um, before text davinci ovo3 was released but since the arrival of text davinci ovo3 there has been a significant improvement in the performance the cost was cut down previously it was uh, it was a uh, 0.006 davinci model cost was 0.006 dollars for 1000 tokens but openai reduced the price from that to 0 0.002 and uh, that 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 made a lot of developers build applications on top of gpt 3.5 model the text davinci 003 model and now you have got a much better model like everybody in the world is a fan of this model and that is going to be one tenth of this cost it's going to be 10 almost like 10 times cheaper than what this model which was already more powerful which was already like widely respected a lot of people were building applications on top of it so this is this is completely ridiculously aggressively priced i'm not sure what is the intention behind it but if i were to guess it maybe openai doesn't want uh, google to make any money maybe openai doesn't want like anthropic the company that is building claude the, or, maybe they don't want any of the competitors to be in the scene so they want to just know or they they already know that chat gpt is quite popular so they just want to ride on the popularity and then make everybody use the api i'm not i'm not i'm not honestly sure uh, what would people do after somebody increases in api cost let's say you are one or two years down the line so it's completely possible that for one or two years um open ai is looking at this uh, vc funded cash burning rate and then try to make money uh, anyways this company was called open ai that's another topic altogether but it looks like OpenAI can still make money after some time where people get used to it. But at least at this point, this is this is like the best time to build AI applications, AI artificial intelligence applications, because your chat GPT model, GPT 3.5 Turbo is it's ridiculously cheap and aggressively priced. And this is this is an aggressive price. So now that's that's uh, about OpenAI as chat GPT. Now, how can you access ChatGPT model? So the way you can access ChatGPT model is uh, very simple. So you can make a request like curl request. You can use request package in Python, whatever you want to do. You can make a request. This is the API endpoint. OpenAI.com slash v1 chat slash chat slash completions. You need to have your OpenAI API key and then send the question like whatever the question is and then you can send the message you can make a call to this model and what would be the response the response would look something like this here the role is the user and here the role is the assistant like if you are building a conversational agent one is the user the other one is the assistant so this way you can send conversational ui um, conversational message and you can also see what kind of message it has got with all the details chat id messages the model name what all these things so this is quite quite amazing and um, and also like chat gpt itself has got an upgrade so what what they are saying is 
Developers who use GPT 3.5 Turbo model will always get the recommended stable model. And uh, you can also opt for specific models. So for example, today they have released a new version of the Turbo model, which is Turbo 0301. And uh, you know, you can, you can start accessing it. So it looks like uh, OpenAI wants to experiment a lot and uh, by paying for the API, ChatGPT API, you are going to get that privilege of getting, uh, getting exposure to what, getting exposed to what they're experimenting. And they have got some information about uh, if you want to do it for enterprise, how you can do it through Azure and all this kind of information. Now that is ChatGPT API. Now let's talk about Whisper. Like I still think that Whisper is really one of the greatest thing that has come out of OpenAI. A lot of people have been talking about ChatGPT, Text DaVinci, understand, but this is an open source model. And lot, I have huge respect for this model given what it can do. And today, starting today, Whisper API is available inside OpenAI development platform. Now, if you do not know anything about Whisper, I've got a lot of videos about Whisper, how to do normal translation, normal translation, how to do just transcription, how to do uh, speaker diarization, I have all these videos, please check it out. But if you simply want to look at it, now there is a new model, the endpoint audio transcriptions. And this model, once again, you need to have open API key. And uh, the only bummer here is that you need to send the entire audio as payload. So I don't know, at least right now, it doesn't look like they're supporting streaming audio which is quite a bummer because a lot of times people want to send streaming audio, but in this case, you need to send the entire audio clip in the payload, and then you are going to get the response. Most likely they will definitely change or they might introduce another model with a higher pricing tier, but at least at this point, you can get transcriptions and you can get translations. Translations get translated into English. Transcription happens in the source language. Like if I'm speaking in Tamil, I'm going to get Tamil. But uh, if I want translation, then my Tamil will get first translated and transcribed into Tamil text. From there, it gets translated into English. So it accepts a wide variety of formats, like most popular audio formats. Now looking at Whisper pricing, let's look at Whisper pricing. What does it say? If you look at Whisper pricing, Whisper says for one minute, the pricing is 0 0.006. So what do you want if you want? 0 0.06 into 60 minutes. So if you're going to do it for 60 minutes, like for one hour, you're going to pay approximately, let's say three cents. That's quite good. Uh, I, do, I don't, I, I've not seen a lot of people uh, already having whisper in production at a good rate. So for one, for one hour audio clip, you're going to pay three cent. So this is, uh, this, this looks, 30 cent, I think this is 30 cent. Yeah, I'm sorry, 30 cent. So this is good. This is actually good. And uh, let's see what kind of things that people can do with this. So now this is all about the cost. I'm going to show you now how you can access the model. All you have to do is you have to go to platform.openai.com. Once you go to platform.openai.com, you can go to playground. And once you go to playground, you can select the desired model. Right now, at least while I'm recording this video, I don't see any chat GPT model in itself here, but you can see every other model that is available. And you have the small icon here that can help you record a audio and then you can upload. So, and again, you have, uh, you have all this information and you can also click view the code and you can get the code. This, this can help you to get the code in Python, JavaScript, whatever language that you want. This is one way of accessing the model to try. The next th important thing is you can go check the documentation. When you go check the documentation, click documentation, and click models. Here you will get all the model information. So one, you can see GPT 3.5 and inside that you can see what is GPT 3.5 turbo can do. What is GPT 3.5 turbo 30301 can do. And what is the maximum request that you can do? what at till what level the training data is available September 2021. All these informations are available here. The next thing is look at whisper. Once again, you can see what is the model? What is the model that is using uh, whisper V2 large model? 
and then you can see currently there is no difference between the open source version and version available through API. So which means if you manage to use Whisper CPP or something in your local machine, that's good enough. You don't need API. But yeah, if you need API, you can see. So this is this is all how you can access the API. All you have to do is get the OpenAI API key and then you have got the curl response that you have to make, the sorry, the curl request that you have to make for both Whisper and the chat GPT model, which in this case is a GPT 3.5 Turbo. So now this covers everything that we wanted to discuss, starting from what is available, pricing, how to access everything. So just to quickly say how to access, go to platform.openai.com. Yeah, if you have never logged in, most likely you would have. Then you need to sign up first. After that, you can go check everything that you want inside that platform. Now, finally, there is some interesting changes that OpenAI has decided to do, which they are calling developer focus. So over the past six months, we have been collecting feedback from our API partners, sorry, API customers to understand how we can serve them better. And they've made concrete changes. That's what they're saying. Data submitted through API is no longer used for service improvements, which means I think in Playground or ChatGPT, if you write something that's always being used for model improvement. But if you're going to submit something through API, that is not going to be used for service improvement. No, unless you opt in. So by default, you're opted out unless you opt in. It's not even used for model training. That's quite surprising. Implementing, they're implementing a default 30 day retention policy for API users with options for stricter de uh, retention depending upon user need. That's good. Um, a lot of organizations have data retention policy, so looks like they've got some feedback. They're removing or uh, removing our pre-launch review, unlocking by uh, improving automated monitoring. Okay. Developer documentation improvement. Okay. Then simplifying the terms of usage and okay. I think the most important thing is how they are handling the data and then the data retention. I think this might um, encourage some more companies to try out these APIs, especially with ChatGPT now available as an API in the form of GPT 3.5 Turbo model. So overall, it looks like um, OpenAI is a full on uh, want to be developer friendly, cost efficient, aggressive, uh, ag very aggressive pricing. And also it seems that they have really good plans how to grow this uh, fame around ChatGPT or the buzz around ChatGPT. And looks like this API couldn't have come at a better time. So everybody has been looking for an official ChatGPT API from OpenAI and today you have that. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't want you to forget that Whisper API is also available because everybody is going to talk about ChatGPT. But you have got ChatGPT API, Whisper API official chat GPT and whisper APIs from OpenAI. I hope this was helpful to you in uh, learning about OpenAI's new API announcement. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, peace.